What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here and what an exciting day. Out of nowhere, iOS 8.1 has been jailbroken as well as iOS 8.0.2 and 8.0. Now this applies to every single device from the iPhone 6 Plus to the 6 to the 5S all the way down to the 4S on iOS 8, all iPads capable of running iOS 8 and iPod Touch 5th generation. So in this video, I will be showing you how to fully install and jailbreak iOS 8.1, 8.0.2, 8.0 on all of these devices. And yes, this will install a working Cydia at the end. It's actually very simple, but you know, Cydia isn't fully compatible with the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. It's a little blurry and you know, most of the packages inside aren't compatible because no one was ready for this. It was out of nowhere. Now the jailbreak is called Pangu, version 1.0.1 .1 is the latest, still a bit buggy, but I'll walk you guys through the entire process. It's super simple and holy crap, we have an iOS 8 jailbreak out of nowhere. So let's go ahead and get started and liberate your device. And a quick note real quick, so Cydia is updated to support iOS 8, it's just the packages inside of it aren't all fully compatible and especially with the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. I mean, who's had time to develop anything? But this is crazy guys and it's a little buggy, but I'll be sure to mention every bug that I experienced and how you guys can fix it. So for this video, I will be jailbreaking my iOS 8.1 iPhone 6 Plus. So go ahead and plug it into your Windows computer. This isn't compatible with Mac yet, but there will be an update soon to simplify the entire process. And of course, I will be showing you the entire new process when it does come out. But for now, there's a little bit of a harder process. It still works. It's still very quick. Right, so on your Windows computer, you will need to download four things. The actual jailbreak and two Cydia files. And actually this, you won't need to download. I'll just give you guys it in the description. And all links will be down below in the description along with an entire guide to walk you through everything and troubleshooting. So make sure to get everything there. Anyways, you wanna right click on Pangu. You know, run as administrator. And uh, you know, this isn't gonna be the same for everybody, but some people will have a blue button right here. Some will have a gray one. It's okay. It works either way. You can just click on it and it'll work. But uncheck this little guy right here, the PP little checkbox, and just click the button. It's as simple as that. Now, this will take about three to five minutes. It's a very simple process. You'll notice that your device reboots several times and you know, I'll be here, show you guys the entire process. It's actually really damn cool that this even came out. I was not expecting this. I mean, I knew a jailbreak was being worked on. I just had no idea that they made so much progress on it and the fact that it works on the latest 8.1 firmware. But of course, with Apple, you know, we're not gonna be enjoying this for too long. In a month, they're gonna release a new update to spoil the fun for everybody because you know, along with a jailbreak for us, it means exploits and vulnerabilities for hackers and malware, the such. So we won't be seeing it for too long. That's why, you know, you'll want to wait on any updates. If 8.1.1 comes out or 8.2, you don't want to update until, you know, someone says it's safe to do so and that the jailbreak does work with it. And of course, it will be keeping guys updated on everything. If iTunes pops up, just close that guy. It's not going to interrupt it, but, you know, keep this open and it won't be long. Now, when the 5S was first jailbroken, it was a crazy surprise. Nobody really expected it. And, you know, it came out of nowhere too, but with a 6, we're gonna be seeing a while for development to make any sort of applications and stuff, and I'll be covering everything for it. Anyways, you know, just give it a minute. And sometimes you will be taken to the activation screen. Don't touch it, just leave it, it's fine. You know, at the very end, and I'll show you guys what happens, but it looks like it's done on the Pangu jailbreak application. The iPhone is just going to restart on its own. And I did forget to mention before you do this, you know, of course, you do want to go ahead and back up everything in iTunes just in case. You know, I haven't experienced any problems, but this is almost a beta jailbreak. So, you know, it is stable. I have been using it for a little while, but back up everything just in case. You never know what could happen, but generally it is pretty safe. Anyways, any moment here, we should be rebooting. There we go. And again, just close out of iTunes if that guy pops up. Well, it does take you to the activation menu. No big deal again. Just go through it. I guess it's part of the exploit, but whatever, as long as we have a working jailbreak. Anyways, you will notice there is now a Pangu icon. Go ahead and select it. And make sure your device is connected to Wi-Fi and download OpenSSH. Select install. It'll only take a minute and you will be finished. Okay, so from here, what do we do? Well, go into settings, go into Wi-Fi, and in here, you're gonna click on that little I, and in here, you will notice IP address. In here, you'll wanna take this guy, and we're gonna enter it into the following part of the tutorial, but this is the little 
piece of information, you need the IP address. And I will ask you to download WinSCP as well. So that's a fourth download for you right there. Anyway, so this guy, right click on him, run as administrator as well. And in here, and in here, you're gonna to wanna to put in that IP address. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my device down and go ahead and input that IP. All right, and now the username is root and not capitals. Password is Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. Make sure you get it correct. And it's as simple as that. So just go ahead and select login. All right, it will bring up this prompt. Just go ahead and select yes. All right, so next step is on this panel right here, you wanna locate your desktop and go ahead and find those two dot deb files that I asked you guys to download. Take one, drag it in to the main root folder. And to find that, you just wanna click up here and click on this guy. It'll look just like this. It'll say root. Make sure you are in the root folder. Take it and drag it in. Select OK and same for the other one. So make sure you get it in the same folder. OK, so next it's actually a very simple process. So before you close out a WinSCP, we need to go ahead and execute two commands. And in the article that you will read, there will be the commands and they'll look just like this. So I'm just going to set this aside right here. Click on WinSCP and on Windows computer, hold Control and T. So select OK. And this is where we execute a command. So I'm going to copy the first line, and this is the 1.1.12 iPhone OS. Copy that, paste it in here, and execute. So you guys may get an error. That's okay. You know, the error is fine. Go ahead and take the second one, copy it, and paste it right in. Execute that one as well. So you guys will get two errors. Not everybody, but most people will get errors. It's, it's okay. Back in my device, go ahead and turn it off and go ahead and reboot it. Now upon reboot, we should have a working Cydia upon reboot as long as you follow the directions, as I said. And we're not too far off, here we go. And even though you got those errors, it's okay. You should have Cydia on your springboard right there. So go ahead and open it up. It'll set up and reboot your iPhone again. It does take a while, so you know, give it a couple minutes and I'll be right back. All right, and upon reboot, you guys will have a working Cydia on your springboard. So again, you know, not a lot of things are compatible. We'll see that being changed very soon. A whole bunch of developers will be updating their stuff, but for now there's not much. And of course, I will keep you guys updated on a simpler version and what you can do in Cydia once you're jailbroken. So guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I helped you jailbreak your device on I will say, again, that's crazy. I mean, I didn't see this coming. So anyways, enjoy the jailbreak guys. Have a great day, peace.